will literally freeze over. Really? Yeah, try this. Cup your hands over your mouth and breathe out. <sighs> that warm air that you just breathed out was CO2, also known as carbon dioxide. Cool. Yep. Carbon dioxide is a heat trapping gas, and it also helps us stay warm and live on Earth. Now, scientists say that carbon dioxide levels have grown by 50%. 50%? Yeah, 50% since the 1960s. Carbon dioxide levels have gone up 50% since the 1960s. Why do you think that's happened? Probably because of fossil fuels like gasoline and wood that help heat our homes and travel. Interesting. Remember, carbon dioxide is a heat trapping gas. And because carbon dioxide levels have gone up 50% since the 60s, global temperature has gone up by 100%. Oh, so that's why there's more forest fires, and that's why there's more heat waves, and that's why the Arctic ice is melting. Yeah. Too much carbon, too much heat. Imagine being stuck in a car on a hot summer day. Hey! Can you imagine what it would be like to be trapped in a car on a hot summer day? Watch this TV report to find out. In this experiment, the temperature inside the locked car rose from 60 degrees to 120 degrees in less than 15 minutes. Sorry to break it to you guys, but our planet is becoming that hot car in a quick second. And that's why we need to reduce fossil fuel levels fast. So here are some fun ways you can reduce your carbon footprint. Use water wisely, keep your showers to five minutes or less. Reuse or repair instead of throwing in the garbage. Learn to recycle. That's a wrap.